Welcome back to the Fulton County Gospel News Podcast. My name is Barry O'Dell, and I am your host. Fulton County Gospel News is a bi-monthly publication of the Church of Christ in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. And if you'd like to learn more about the paper, visit our website, mammothspringchurchofchrist.com. Let us know what we can do for you. You can get the paper as a PDF in your email or as a hard copy through the United States Postal Service. You can also get a bundle of the papers sent to a congregation. All of this is free of charge. Again, get our contact information from our website and let us know how we can serve you. Also, if you've not yet subscribed to the podcast, go to podbean.com and search for Fulton County Gospel News and become a follower. Find us on Facebook at Fulton County Gospel News Podcast and at Church of Christ at Mammoth Spring. Today, I want to read an article to you from the August 2000 edition of Fulton County Gospel News. The title of the article is Saints Who Strengthen Us, and the author was James Burns. This is a very practical article, and I think one that's very helpful and encouraging. It's been my personal experience and maybe yours too, maybe not, whatever. But uh, it seems that a lot of times we can get hung up simply in doctrinal issues, you know, talking about instrumental music, uh, women's role, uh, various things like this. Those things are important. We need to talk about those things and work through Scripture. But we do not need to neglect the, what I would call the practical, day-to-day side of Scripture and the things that we can learn from the individuals that we read about in Scripture. And I think this article is a good reminder of that, and so I'm going to share it with you today. The Bible, to a great extent, is the story of people, men and women, young and old, good and evil, in a variety of life's circumstances. It is their stories we first learn and longest remember. Some would prefer God to have given us a list of do's and don'ts with index so we can look up what to do in every situation. Certainly, there are laws in the Bible of which we need to be knowledgeable. By relating for us the lives of people, the Bible gives us some examples, people and circumstances we can identify with. In so doing, we can benefit from their strong and weak points. Let us notice some saints whose examples can strengthen us in circumstances in which we may find ourselves. I have to work with ungodly people. If this is your case, think of Daniel in Daniel chapter 6. His co-workers were not only ungodly men, but plotted against him and his religious beliefs. Over 120 of his peers were against him, yet he remained faithful to his convictions. I face such strong temptations. If so, think of Joseph's temptation by Potiphar's wife in Genesis 39. As a young man away from family influence, a servant in a foreign land, He was in a vulnerable position for temptation to sexual indulgence. But Joseph resisted with, How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So few stand for the truth. This was Elijah's feeling too when he challenged the 450 prophets of Baal. With no support from the people of Israel. 1 Kings 18, 17-40 Later he became depressed over his feeling that he was the only person faithful to God. But God informed him that there were 7,000 others who had not bowed the knee to Baal. 1 Kings 19 I can't do much. One of limited ability or resources may feel this way. But think of the poor widow who could only give her two mites in Mark 12, 41-44. Jesus commended her. Think, too, of how she has influenced others of greater means to give, follow her example of generosity. Of another woman, Jesus said, She has done what she could, Mark 14, 8, and he expects no more of us. I tried and failed. So did Simon Peter. After affirming his allegiance to his Lord and defending him with a sword, Peter three times denied the Lord, John eighteen fifteen through 17 and John eighteen twenty five through 27 Peter failed on that occasion, but his life was not a failure as can be seen in later events of his life. I'm glad the Bible is filled with people facing situations common to us all and telling how they met these temptations. We can learn from them. All right, again, so that article, very little bit brief, and that's okay, comes from the August 2000 edition of the paper written by James Burns. And like I said in the beginning, it's encouraging to me, and we need to hear this kind of information. We need to be reminded again from time to time of the practical side of the Bible, not just doctrinal positions, um, be, being only known for quote unquote standing for the truth and only preaching on specific things, like I mentioned earlier, like uh, you know instrumental music, women's roles, and, and controversial topics. Maybe that's maybe that's a good way to put it. 
we need to know the practical side of Scripture as well. I always think of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, when Paul was writing to the church at Corinth, two times in that chapter, in verse 6 and then again in verse 11, he references the Israelites, well, throughout that chapter, but he references them and says, these things happened unto them for our examples. We need to know the biblical characters, and not just for the sake of knowing the stories, okay? Not just for the sake of knowing the facts of Scripture, but looking at how they were incorporating God's Word in their lives to help them from day to day. Of course, I always think, too, and, and maybe you do as well, of the temptations of Christ in Matthew chapter 4, also recorded in Luke chapter 4. With each temptation, Jesus' response was, it is written. He could always go back to Scripture. And that is the knowledge base that you and I need to have. We need to know what Scripture says, so when we face uh, a variety of scenarios in life, we can know what God would have us to do. So I hope this short article was encouraging to you, as it was to me. Thanks for listening today. Again, if you want the paper, visit our website, manofspringchurchofchrist.com. Let us know what we can do for you. Subscribe to the podcast on podbean.com, Fulton County Gospel News. And follow us on Facebook, Fulton County Gospel News Podcast and Church of Christ at Mammoth Spring. Well, thanks again for listening today, and I will catch you on the next episode of Fulton County Gospel News Podcast.